Hi, it's Rick, getting ready to carve some spoons. The problem is we're having a snowstorm here, and I can't get at the stump that I like to use as a chopping block. Now, I do have this log in the shop that I use as a chopping block sometimes, and I could just go on and use it today as a chopping block. But then I started thinking, wouldn't it be nice if I had a small carving bench that I could use in the shop year-round? So I've decided to take this log and turn it into a small carving bench for the shop. So here it is so far on the legs. Now these legs are just made from some small maple trees that were growing too close to my house and they had to come down. So rather than throw them in the brush pile and waste them, I found a use for them. When I was on the shaving horse, shaving off the back, you may have noticed that toward the end I used this to judge the size of the holes because I was using a one inch auger. So the ends of these had to be one inch at least for a short ways so I just used a piece of scrap wood this is one that I've used for other things but the end one the end hole is one inch so I knew that if this would go around the top of the leg
that I could put it in the hole and then pound it with the mallet and get it in there. So now I need to cut the flat surface for working on. Now a lot of these that you see have a section cut out in the middle and they leave the ends on and they do that so they can uh, put wedges in between the end pieces and the piece of wood that they're working on and that holds it in very tightly like a vise. This is a very short log however, it's a small or it's going to be a small carving bench. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave an end on here but I'm going to take the rest of it off all the way to the end. Then once I have a flat surface I'll drill some quarter inch or one inch holes and turn some pegs to fit in there and I can use those to wedge whatever I'm working on in there in, this, in the same manner. So the next step will be to saw a bunch of slots along down to the depth where I want the table and then knock that out. Off camera, I turned a couple of pegs, and these are turned so that the peg is on the bottom and I left it square on the top. That'll make it easier if I want to wedge something in there, I think. I might even make some of different widths on the top and so that you have a different size gap, and I think that that might be useful, but I'll wait until I need something like that before I try it. But this is it a small carving bench for the shop. It has a notch in it so I can put. Um, spoons in there while I'm hitting them with the axe. This area is big enough for me to work on spoons or maybe carve a cook saw. I've never done that but I'd like to try. And the pegs allow me to use wedges to tighten whatever I'm working on down. Didn't take that long to build and I think it will be very useful and it's something that I won't be afraid to leave outside and throw a top over and only pull it in when I need it. So here it is. So next I'll be using the carving bench and making some spoons, but that'll be in the next video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.